And welcome back to another edition of our Meet the Ice Bus Freshman Series. And uh, joining us today, Connecticut native, incoming forward, Nick Capone. Nick, thank you for a few minutes of your time. Thank you. As I mentioned, a Connecticut native from East Haven. Let's talk a little bit about your journey to UConn. You know, being from Connecticut, I know you, you had some youth hockey experience, you probably had some high school hockey experience. Now you're going to come and have a college hockey experience in Connecticut as well. Talk to me about that decision and what led you to UConn and what the process was like for you in recruiting and, and ultimately why you decided to be a Husky. The uh, biggest part about it was uh, being close to home, uh, being close to my family. And uh, the coaches here made me feel like I was part of the family here too. And that was a huge part. Now, last year uh, you had an opportunity to play in the USHL in uh, junior hockey. You played with Tri-City. Uh, and you were with them before the season was cut short, uh, you know, due to the, the uh, pandemic. Let, let's talk about that experience a little bit and what it, you gained from it uh, as a hockey player, how it helped you develop, and, and what uh, that experience as a whole was like for you. Uh, I think it was a big step for uh, my hockey career. I think it developed me uh, a lot better than I would have been at prep school this year than um, just the speed and size and physicality of the game out there is just – well prepared me for college hockey. Yeah, and one of the you had a chance to play. I think it was in an All Star game or a showcase game. Uh, what was that experience like? You know, playing against you know probably another level up of competition. Is that yeah, something that, that you're able to you know take something something from that experience that you can use to develop yourself even more? That game was uh, really fun. Uh, it was a great experience. A bunch of great guys on the ice and it just. Just another thing that develops you and uh, prepares you. Now, uh, as uh, you, you are on campus now and, and getting ready, uh, you know, through the quarantine process, and then eventually you guys will do some workouts. But the NHL hockey season is currently going on. And at some point, uh, the draft's going to come along. You uh, were ranked in, in the NHL Central Scouting Rankings uh, as a potential draft pick. What – what have you thought about with that process? Has that come into your mind? Have you put a lot of thought into the possibility of hearing your name called uh, by an NHL team? Uh, you know, obviously I would have to imagine that'd be a dream scenario for you, but how much have you thought about that? It is definitely a dream of mine, but uh, it's always going through your head, always. But uh, you just try not to let it block anything else out. You just got to keep working. And if it happens, it happens. Right. Uh, I mentioned earlier, you know, uh, youth hockey in Connecticut. And uh, last year, the, the Huskies uh, had a chance to participate in the Connecticut Ice event uh, with the other three schools uh, in Connecticut, along with a, a slew of youth hockey organizations in high school and prep schools. Talk a little bit about your experience growing up, like when you started playing hockey and what you, what you learned uh, playing youth hockey in Connecticut, what that experience was like for you. Uh, it was great. I started with the Southern Stars. I played tier two. Um, I played there for a while. Then I uh, switched to the Wolf, Connecticut Wolfpack. Then uh, it was always fun. There's always great competition. Uh, and I've made friendships for life out of Connecticut youth hockey. When did you start playing? How old were you? Uh, I was two. <laughs> two years old. Wow, that's yeah. great. Now, uh, as you're coming to stores, obviously, uh, you, you're going to uh, be playing for UConn in, in Hockey East. How much do you know about the league? What are you looking forward to? What challenges do you think uh, await for you uh, and maybe all the freshmen as you make the next step, uh, you know, to college hockey and what those challenges would be? I'm just looking forward to the, the depth of this league. Everyone's good. There's no off nights. Every team is ready to go every single night. So it's just going to be a battle. I'm ready for it. Do you think that there's much that, you know, that you've heard of or anything that's different in the college game that you're preparing for specifically, or is it, you know, just something you're going to rely on the coaches to kind of help you bring, you know, bring you to the um, point you need to be? I mean, every level you go up, the speed is just that much different. So I think just adapting to the speed is going to be the biggest part. All right, let's hit a couple topics off the ice, so to speak. Uh, if, if you weren't playing hockey, if you never played hockey, what sport do you think you would be? Uh, I played football. Football? Did you play football ever, or is it just no, something you love? Never. <laughs> Favorite football team? Patriots guy, or are you a, a New York football uh, guy? Jets fan. Jets fan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Giants fan. Not that they're <laughs> any better right now. <laughs> um, 
Describe yourself as a player. What do you think uh, the UConn fans will, will see when they, when they see you take the ice? What kind of player? Uh, describe how you, your style of play. Uh, I'm a power forward. Um, I'm looking to score goals and hold on to the puck a lot, and I like to hit, too. Have you had much of a chance uh, to interact with any other guys in the freshman class uh, yet? I mean, uh, have you gotten to know any of them at all? Yeah, I've met, I've met almost all of them so far. They're all cool. We're all, we've all been getting along so far, so it's going well. How about the other cadet, you know, uh, Adam Karashek, captain Eric, he's a Ridgefield Connecticut guy. Did you know Adam beforehand? or have you? Uh, no, I actually haven't been able to meet him yet. I'm uh, looking forward to that. Okay. Uh, we'll get you out on this note. So you're an East Haven, Connecticut guy. So New Haven is known for New Haven pizza, right? That's a big thing. So are you, where, where do you fall in that argument? Are you uh, Sally's, Pepe's, modern pizza? Where, where do you come down? Uh, I'm going to go with modern. You know what? That's what I would have said myself. <laughs> Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. All right, Nick, thank you so much for a few minutes today. We really look forward to seeing you on the ice. And welcome to UConn. Thank you very much.